more things change, the more they stay the same. Boundaries shift, new players step in, but power always finds a place to rest its head. What up guys, this is XPre Hell Raider here. I hope you enjoyed the shotgun clip to begin the video. Today I'm here to talk about the Wreck, the R3K Assault Rifle. And I feel like that's a very fitting name for this burst laser weapon rifle. You can either wreck people with it or get wrecked by it. I, I feel this rifle is a very inconsistent assault rifle. It's it's not it doesn't kill people as as, as much as it should sometimes and I feel like I get robbed even though I feel as though some of my bursts are all on point and others are I, I can obviously tell aren't but I feel like that they, they still get kills it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense but I do enjoy the weapon for what it is now there's two ways to use the uh, the wreck well actually three if you count the epic variant but we're not going to talk about that today because that's kind of a completely different weapon almost we're going to talk about the uh, regular wreck and the wreck spearhead the one I'm using in this gameplay is the Rex Spearhead, and that kind of makes the Rex a more a aggressive burst weapon. That's kind of like how I like to play. I like to be up in somebody's face and try to get my shots down, uh, down range and be able to follow up very quickly. With the Spearhead, you are allowed to do that with the cost of extra recoil, which you can noticeably see. Um, if you're running the Spearhead, I definitely suggest running Quick Draw, uh, Foregrip, Silencer, Red Dot, kind of your uh, opinion. I like the Iron Sights. I can kind of do without the uh, Red Dot if I don't need to. So I do that. Um, it's definitely, the Spearhead is definitely an easier follow-up. If you miss or if you get a hit marker, you can follow up much faster than the regular Wreck. I want to say it's almost twice as fast, but in the same token, your burst uh, spread is way higher. If you start at the belly button, your burst spread with the Spearhead will be belly button chest head compared to the regular rack which is just pretty much like straight belly button maybe a little into the upper chest so it depends on how you want to play but if you want to snipe people definitely go with a normal r3k variant uh the legendary is pretty good the uh common is actually pretty good because it comes with the foregrip basically on it for free and it's already pretty accurate so you can kind of give that attachment to something else preferably i would tell you guys to give it a silencer because for the simple chance that you don't one shot them and you have to follow up you you will be uh it'll be a lot easier they won't know where you are as for perks and create a class uh first two perks are pretty much standard i'm gonna go with ghost and dexterity ghost to stay off the radar dexterity to reload faster uh the one of the cool perks about this weapon since it is a laser weapon i get to kind of reload over time so if i don't reload purposefully and i don't only use a couple shots and i somehow laser somebody from a long distance away it'll refill it on its own and it's kind of nice it definitely is uh easier to deal with than bullet weapons so you don't get caught in the middle of reloading so that's quite nice um the other attachment i would run i ran hardline i feel like all assault rifles should run hardline you don't really run out of ammo too easily and it's nice to get your streaks a lot quicker your third perk is my debatable perk for this gun i like running uh pinpoint which is which you don't hear me say ever but if you're running the spearhead and you're trying to shoot for distance and even if you just hit him with one shot they'll be outlined so you can kind of see where you should be re-aiming again for your next shot to kind of take them down a little bit quicker if you don't like pinpoint i definitely suggest hardwired that's always a good one not hardwired dead silence is your next best bet after that as for like uh tacticals jammer grenades are nice you can kind of break enemy equipment you can stun enemies so you can follow up in other shots and also you can kind of hurt kill streaks with jammer grenades which is weird as for um Specialists, uh, I feel like the first specialist is probably the best. It is Warfighter with the ping ability. As soon as you scope somebody from range or you get a quick kill, it releases a ping and you can kind of tell what kind of gunfight you're about to get into next or prioritize the next target, if you will. Um, Claw is also really nice for when you're in closer range situations and the wreck is just not handling it. You can kind of whip it out and spray and pray and spray to win. Uh, another decent specialist, I, don't, I wouldn't call, I would definitely call Warfighter my first pick. The next one is definitely Merc. 
reactive armor infusion, be able to take some bullets, put some bullets on range, recover a little bit faster, quite nice. Um, another one after that, I would probably do Phantom. Phantom with the EM Pulsar. Basically, you can kind of send out a scan and see enemies through walls, so you can kind of pick your battles and pick your shots a little bit easier. With the Rear Guard, or the... If you're going to get a lot of hit markers, the uh, Marked for Death, so they can't recover health as easily, and makes uh, capturing that target just a little bit easier with your next shot. Um, as for now, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Be sure to check out my team channel and our team Twitter and follow us there. If you guys want to see anything special from me or, uh, I don't know, anything different or something else, let me know. Uh, please tell me what you guys did in the comments for New Year's. I always find that stuff kind of interesting. I did, we had like a house party, but I also did travel around to a couple different friends' houses to, uh, to get some more experience, if you will. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is your boy Hellraider, signing off. Talk about dropping fucking kills. Good job. Yes, sir. The wreck indeed.